kids. Today in Kids Knowledge, we are going to be discovering 10 amazing facts on animals. So let's get into it. First in our list, the sluggish sloths. It's good that sloths don't have to go to school. They'll never make it on time. This drowsy tree dwellers moves very, very slowly. When awake, they only travel an average of 9 feet, that's about 3 meters per minute. In fact, they are so incredibly slow that green algae, which are plant-like organisms, actually grows on their fur. Second on our list is the scaredy goats. If someone comes up behind you and yells, BOO! Your muscles will tense up for a moment. If you scare a Tennessee fainting goat, the same thing happens, except it's just much worse. As the goat begins to run away, its muscles completely freeze up and it falls on its back or side. After about 10 seconds, the goat can get up and move around again. These goats aren't actually fainting. They just lose their ability to run as their muscles freezes up. This condition isn't too much of a problem on a farm, but they wouldn't last long in the wild. Third one in our list is upside down dinner. It's a good thing you are not a flamingo, otherwise you would have to eat with your head upside down. Flamingos use their large lower beak to strain water and mud from the food they find. This filter feeding helps them gulp up a mouthful of algae, shrimps, fish and insects. Flamingo can live in both warm and cold climates. They just need plenty of water and mud. Fourth on our list is cow magnets. Are you lost? Well, you don't need a compass to find north and south. Just locate some hungry cows. Earth's magnetic poles make a compass needle point north and south. But the poles seem to make cows head turns as well. When eating or resting, cows lines up in a north-south direction according to the Earth's magnetic field. And they swipe their head north or south when gazing. Fifth in our list is the wet wiggles. Giraffes has a wacky way of cleaning their ears. They use their long tongue to do it. Giraffes uses their tongue to reach acacia leaf high up in the tree. But when they have an itch in their ears, their tongue reaches in and gives it a wet wiggle. An adult male giraffe's tongue can be up to 21 inch. That's about 53 centimeters long. The sixth animal in our list is fish flosses. Would you swim inside or next to a shark's mouth? Most fish swims far away when sharks comes around. But pilot fishes don't. Pilot fishes actually swims inside a shark's mouth and acts as a shark toothbrush. They never have to worry about becoming the shark's next meal because the shark leaves the fish alone in return for the teeth cleaning. Number 7 in our list is the turning head owls. What if teachers could turn their head like owls? They would see everything you're up to while writing on the board. Owls can almost rotate their head in a complete circle. This is helpful because unlike lots of other animals, they cannot move their eyes. That means in order to see something next to it, an owl has to turn its head. The eighth animal on our list today is stinky dancers. This silly sight should give you a fright. When a spotted skunk feels trouble is near, it will stand on its front paws, dance and wave its tail. This isn't so you will die laughing. 
The handstand makes the skunk look bigger and more dangerous. If a predator isn't smart enough to heed its warning, the skunk will squirt a stinky spray that can cause temporary blindness and nausea. The ninth animal we're going to be talking about the tippy toes. Can you win a race running on your tippy toes? Horses do. Each foot has a single large toe and two smaller toes. And the smallest toe never touches the ground when the horse are running. They are connected to the big toes and give it support to prevent the horse from twisting its foot while running. And the final tenth animal is the lying liar bird. You're in the middle of the woods, miles away from civilization. When you suddenly hear a baby crying his head off, don't be fooled. It may just be a lying bird. This bird is an expert at reproducing sounds it has heard before. It perfectly mimics a koala, a car alarm, a chainsaw or even a crying baby. It's hard to tell the difference between an imitation and the real sound. I believe we have learned a lot today in this video, right kids? So I hope to see you all again in our next video. But before that, please do subscribe to our channel. And this is 4Kids Knowledge. Bye-bye.